All right, this is a very nice car I've got for you here today. This is a two-owner Oldsmobile Delta 88 Brome Royale, or Royale Brome. It's got all the options. This is a bad car, man. Two owners, 96,000 or so original miles. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do kind of a once around for you. Then I'll go around and show you any minor issues on it, which ain't much to talk about. Beautiful root beer brown metallic paint. You can see the curb feeler there in front of the car. You can have make the choice whether to take that off. I think the curb feeler is cool. Somebody really took care of this car, or two somebodies, and it shows. Um, the car has to have been garaged. It's just beautiful. The hub factory hubs are in great condition. And that's kind of a once around. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. And you can reach me anytime. And also check out my website. It's www.serialmarshmallows.com. And you click on blog when you get there and you can see a lot of the stuff I have for sale. If you want to see more pictures of it, go to www.missoulaautoauction.com. That's M-I-S-S-O-U-L-A autoauction.com and there's lots of them on there about 35% of my stuff is usually on there that curb filler I'm telling you about like I said these are in great condition underneath in the wheel wells is in great condition the paint looks great there's a couple little chips that you can see um, <clears throat> little pieces of the line there gone few minor chips on the front and I'm trying to see if that's something on it or a chip. It's a chip. It seems like something on it almost. So some of them may be a little chip and a couple may be something on it. A couple little scratches here. Tiny. Um, little s marks on the chrome starting in. I don't know if you can even see them. There you go. I think you can. Um, it shines beautifully. All the rubber in between is in great shape. Usually this stuff gets knocked off. This piece is usually long gone. <clears throat> Underneath it, clean as can be. Um, I'm sure you'll find some kind of wet gasket somewhere, but it don't leak all over or nothing like that. That piece has been, it's not factory, kind of an add-on type thing. Chipped on the paint there. I think this is a factory thing there, but these front pieces are chipped. And chipped right here, you can tell. <clears throat> Pretty good on this part of the filler piece. A little scratch there, a little scratch there. Just a little minor imperfections you can hardly see. I'm sure there's a door ding on it somewhere. Like a couple in here. And beautiful car. Rocker panels, great shape. And there you can see where the filler piece is missing in the bumper. But it's got the backs of it. Cracks in it though. This piece missing also in there. These pieces bust apart and you can buy them aftermarket. You can see that. You know, I'm gonna keep going. <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna go back. We'll go back and show you up under it where I didn't, where I stopped here. Like I've said, I'm sure you might find a wet gasket or something somewhere, but it doesn't leak all over and it's a pretty dry car. You can tell on the tranny there. It's definitely clean. Glass is good on uh, top. It's starting to get the stress marks in right there as you can tell the cracks. And there's little marks all over the top. And I'll get you a close up there. So the top I can get redone for between 260 to 320, probably about 285 bucks. And he'll do the whole top, any color you want. You want it white on the roof here? Bam, it's white. And he does very good work. He does a lot of my classic stuff. It's a classic to me. You can argue with that till you're blue in the face. It's not, but I like this. It's a classic. It's that kind of year. That's just some marks on it. Little beeswax type stuff. 
comes right off. And I showed you the bumper filler piece. Little chips here on the clear coat, it looks like. This piece here has got a chip. I'm kind of discolored right there. Same thing right in there. A little bit around them. That's yeah, like some wax on there, actually. That stuff comes off a little bit. Yep. And a little bit of a mark there. <clears throat> it's clean. That's all there is to it. I'm very picky. I try to show anything and everything. Little piece right there. Something just a little odd, like it had a clear coat missing. And little tiny scuff there you can hardly see. That's about it. Once again, my name is Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. Very clean under here. Wanted to show you the back axle and the exhaust. And then also this has some kind of odd little bit of stain type thing on. Sure, sorry. There you go. You can see it right there. I don't know what it is. You can see it at certain lights. Okay, that is pretty much the outside. I'm going to go ahead and take you on a test drive and show you the inside. And, um, yeah. Now, mechanically, I replaced the fuel pump on this car. Oh, a little bit of discoloration starting on this chrome trim right here. I hope you can see that. Very hard to tell. But I guess you'd call it a little um, frosty or something. A little piece missing out of the window sweep there. And a guy can get a new kit for them or, you know, it's not hurting nothing. But I wouldn't. I'd replace it. I don't like water going out of my door like that. It'll leak out, but. Car seems to have been garage, man. It's beautiful in here. I'll go for a drive and then I'll show you the inside here. Oh, man. Hang on a sec. And the car runs great. Um, I've got the write-up I do on them here. Um, I didn't show you the tires. Tires 85%. Um, no reverse lights. The reverse lights are out. All the lights good. Um, power antenna mass does not work. And driver's power seat doesn't work. I worked on that and got it. And you can see, hopefully you can see me going forward. You can hear me, that's for sure. It's four, up, I mean down and up, forward and back. So all eight positions do work. The switch was a little sticky, um, just not been used. Um, wipers work, manual key works and all locked, nothing on the back. And that is it. Now the radio works. I believe you've got a kind of something in this, because you can hear a pop in the speaker sometime. Your AC ice cold man and whether that is a little harder to hear me with the AC going or not well you're gonna have to excuse me because we're gonna have the AC going because it's warm out today the radio we can turn down a bit even though that's cool car runs great um, cool, a little cold hearted when you start it up um, and there you see that if you romp the pedal down it's a little cold um, if you don't romp the pedal down and stuff, it's not, it'll go just fine. You can put it down nice, even power. There's a little bit of coldness you can feel, but it just runs great. Shifts perfectly. Then uh, get down here to the corner and we'll turn around. Like I say, I replaced the fuel pump and that took care of most of any of that problem, the cold heartedness, but it's still a bit cold hearted. It's a older carbureted type thing here. Okay, we're gonna turn around. They're gone. And in a position like this where you're going uphill, if you put the pedal all the way down, it'll dog out a little bit because it's just, I just started it like a minute and took it from the house to that spot there. But you romp on it once you're going, man, and I hope you can feel that. That's right to 40, like right now. And once it warms up, it runs really, really good. The carb is probably a little sticky. At some point, you may do something to that. If you just drive it, it'll probably, I'd run some injector cleaner through it, might even at that. But it's just, it's like it should be, and it runs great. See, like right there, if I got on my pedal, if I floor it, there's a little bit of a delay, then boom, you're going. 
gotta let off before you start peeling out. I deal a lot in these one and two owner cars. And if I, I just, there's little things on it, like right here, that piece is missing, and that piece is missing. They're supposed to look like that. And I see them on eBay and stuff, and when I don't have the car, and now I haven't even looked while I do. Um, I still ain't shutting that air conditioning off. I hope you can hear me fine. Nice in there in the glove compartment. The switch works. A little bit of uh, sun warpage there on the dash. No cracks or anything. It's beautiful. Um, I'll throw in a set of speakers for front and back for this car if you want. For, um, oh, 20 bucks a set. Door panel, like I say, beautiful condition. Except for the couple little pieces missing. Um, the chrome tape is kind of shrunk up on that piece. It is the Royale Brome. A little bit war right there from the sun. A little chunk missing on that foam. Yeah, I try to show you everything. A little couple chunks there. And other than that, your horn works and everything. <laughs> Woo, doggy. Got a crack in it right there in the horn button I want to show you. A little crack in the piece of fox wood there. Um, your pedals are in great shape. Carpets are in great shape. Kick panels are in great shape. Factory mats. The seats are probably a bit discolored, like um, lighter than they should be. Um, I kind of love these old pillow top seats, man. This is, oh, and the Royale Brome RB is all stitched into it all. And that's the paper I went over with you earlier. Um, there's a little bit of tape on this. I didn't notice that before. Just want to be totally upfront with you on that. Make sure you know. Um, Roll into the back here. Door panel is just nice as can be. One of the pieces missing here. So you got three total of these missing. Trip to the junkyard or rolling through eBay one night and you'll find that no problem. Headliner's in good shape. You can see it missing a piece right there. And it may be starting to come down a little bit right here. You can see it. It's a little thin here, and I just kind of scratched it a little bit. And um, it should be more darker like that, but it's just lighter over the years. Um, if you want, I can have the headliner replaced for between 150 to 190 bucks. Nice and cool in here. I don't want to get out of the back seat now. Go around the other side. I'm gonna make sure and pop the hood while I'm over here. Once again, it's Nathan. 406-544-6919. Trunk is beautiful. Oh, don't know how this happened, but it's got a Cadillac mat in it. So just so you know, basically same trunk liner, but not factory to the car. These are loose and they need a couple extra clips like that. They are loose on both sides, but they're all there and in great condition. Wow, maybe that's gold. Right. A little bit of wear through on that piece of weather stripping there, and it's kind of off the piece. Um, it kind of got ran off and then smashed a little bit. You can see it's missing a bit there. Them are cheap, 19 to 49 bucks usually. Still got the jack instructions. It's a very clean car. That's all there is to say about it. And the top looks nice. It's just if you get up close, I'll try this in a different light. You can see these little marks. There's three in a row right there. So it needs to be have something done to it. And I can get it done awfully cheap. And do the headliner at the same time, he'd probably make a little bit of a special deal. Great car. www.serialmarshmallows.com Click on blog when you get there. Nice straight dash. Everything's straight on it, man. We'll pop this hood, show you under here. I'm trying to do this in a darker light. Where can we get 
see what it looks like under here. And yeah, Matt's gonna back it up here where you don't think somebody's stealing the car or something when it moves. Missing a couple of these little clips like this that make this thing come up. But the hood mat is still there. 5.0 liter. He's gonna get it out in the sun to where I can show you this in the sun too. Get yourself a Chilton's or a Hanes. This thing hasn't been hacked all apart. You can actually still work on it. And that is pretty much your tour. My name is Nathan, 406-544-6919. And um, I'm gonna have to get this done before my time goes out. My name is Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. Beautiful car, showed you everything on it. If you've got any questions, call me anytime. 406-544-6919. Man, it's tight. If you're looking for a nice, good, clean one of these, it's tight. Uh, lots of tread on your tires. Um, it is a different set on the back, just a bit less. But I'd say they're 70% on the back and 80-90% on the front. They're Kumho's on the front. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Thanks a lot.